Bob Schiff de l'Opposition. Common sense conservatives will axe the tax, build the homes, fix the budget and stop the crime. This Prime Minister is not worth the cost. Indeed, his carbon tax, which the Parliamentary Budget Officer has proven, costs 60% of Canadians more than they get back in rebates, is now opposed by 70% of Canadians. Everybody understands that the tax is driving people to the food bank. That's why six premiers, including the Liberal Premier of Newfoundland and Labrador, have asked for a meeting. Will he agree to a televised carbon tax conference if he's so sure of himself on this issue? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. The Parliamentary Budget Officer has confirmed that 8 out of 10 families across the country get more money with the Canada Carbon Rebate uh, attached to the price on pollution than it costs them. That's $1,800 arriving for a family of four in Alberta. It's thousands of dollars right across the country. These are things that are helping people with the high cost of living and groceries at the same time as we fight climate change. But Mr. Speaker, uh, what would be also helpful is if we were able to deliver the doubling of the rural top-up to put hundreds of dollars in the pocket Very of Canadians, good. but the Conservative oh. Party is blocking the legislation to double the rural top-up. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Mr. Speaker, that is mathematically impossible that given that the NDP Liberal government has a combined majority and can pass That's anything right. it wants, which is exactly why we're in such a mess today yeah. as a country. After eight years, this NDP Liberal Prime Minister is not worth the cost, and that's why the Parliamentary Budget Officer confirms 60% of Canadians are paying more in carbon taxes than getting back in rebates. But why doesn't the Prime Minister, if he believes the contrary, why doesn't he have the courage to sit down in a televised and open forum and have a carbon tax conference with the Premier? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. We did sit down with the Premiers eight years ago and established the Pan-Canadian Framework on Climate Change that both puts a price on pollution and puts more money back out of 8 of 10 Canadian families in the jurisdictions where the federal backstop applies. That is a way of both fighting climate change and helping with affordability. Now, not only are the Conservative Party uh, counting on pulling away, taking away those Canada carbon rebate checks, uh, they're arriving this coming Monday on April 15th. People will see in their bank accounts the Canada carbon rebate that puts more money in their pockets ahead of uh, the costs associated with fighting climate change. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Mr. Speaker, he met the Premiers in 2016. Since that time, he's broken the promise he made them. He said the tax would only go up to 11 cents a litre. Now, he admits it will go up to 61 cents a litre. He said the tax would make people better off. Now we have the Parliamentary Budget Officer's report, which confirms 60 percent of Canadians pay more than they get back. The Prime Minister said, and I quote in 2015, Canadians need a PM who will meet with the Premiers. What happened? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. While the Conservative leader continues with his misinformation and disinformation, the reality is the Parliamentary Budget, budget Officer uh, said that 8 out of 10 Canadians do better with our price on pollution and the Canada carbon rebate. But speaking of misinformation and disinformation, any responsible leader uh, that receives an endorsement and support from proven conspiracy theorist and liar Alex Jones would have immediately denounced that. But that's not what the leader of the opposition did. He did absolutely nothing because those kinds of endorsements fit within his political.